hey guys and welcome back to my channel so okay so now i'm going to talk about american horror story season 10 red tide part one which is over um episode six winter kills I'm disappointed in this episode because everybody who I wanted dead did not die. But no, Harry was dead, but by the hands of his daughter. Let me just tell y'all something. I have not want. I never wished anything on a child. I never hated a child as much as I hate Alma. I cannot stand that little girl. I wish they just take her out. I hope Death Valley, something happened to her, or we just don't see her anymore. Because I'm just, I'm just over her and Ursula. Okay, Ursula is causing destruction all in Los Angeles. She is causing destruction. I can't stand her nasty ways. I just can't. So let's get into it. So Holden Vaughn, who is a designer, interior designer, and member of the P-Town City Council orders Bell and Austin to take care of Harry and Arma after Chief Burleson corpse is discovered by the police. Okay? Now, at the gardener's house, Harry tells Arma they must both quit taking the pills for good. Hmm. And so, Arma doesn't like that, or whatever the case. Her, her attitude turns nasty. So, in the midst of an argument, Eli is ca is kidnapped. Harry finds a threatening letter from Belle in Eli's crib. Because Harry thought he saw Doris outside. And he did not. The door was broken into. Ursula heard something, but she didn't think it was anybody breaking in. But she set up the whole... I think she set up the whole thing. Or whatever the case may be. And I think Alma was in, in on it because... Her and Alma went to go visit the chemist. Okay. So I, I see how it all worked out. So. He runs upstairs. Check the baby's crib. Sees a note. There's a note from Belle. Telling her. Telling him to bring Alma and himself to the chemist's house. So they ready to. You know. Austin and Belle are ready to like. Get all both of them out of here but it works it, it it works weird it works weird against harry because first of all alma takes out her false teeth you know her those made-up teeth and bites him through his neck and kills him the pale people come busting in all right but, but, but before that happens Ursula's in the grave site holding up some pills to, and promising these people that they're going to turn back to be regular. You know, they just, she used them to like kill Belle and Austin, basically. So when that happened, Alma killed her father. I'm like, oh my God, here. It seemed like the evil people won. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just wasn't feeling this episode, but let me just continue. So, while all that mess was going on, the chemist took the baby and ran to the back room. So, after all the pale people are shot by Ursula and Harry is dead, she comes back out with the baby and gives the baby to Ursula. Okay. They talk and that's when Alma kills her father. Okay. So, um, <sighs> I'm mad that Belle and Austin is dead, you know? The reason why P-Town got out of town was because of Harry. He let his daughter take a pill, and it just seemed like everything was just, you know, hell had broke loose. And it was, it was because of Harry. I'm mad because they didn't give Doris no way to re get her revenge. I hated the fact that they turned 
daughters into a pale person. I, I would have preferred if they would have just let her have her baby and she just left and left Harry and Alma and Ursula there and let them be killed. But I hate the fact they turned Doris into a pale person. They never showed TB Karen's um um artwork when she did on the beach. Okay. So I guess that's the last of TB Karen. We're not sure. So now it goes to three months later. Alma lives in Los Angeles with the chemist and Ursula and the baby. Now, Alma is at this um, classical orchestra, uh, what is it called, um, audition. And she's playing and they are, they are just like amazed. So it's her and a guy that's, you know, up for the part, up for playing for classical orchestra. Um, he kind of insults her. He was like saying how, you know, he's the best and he's going to get the job. And she keeps saying that she's the best. I just like don't like her attitude at all. I just don't like this girl attitude and I wish somebody put her out of her misery. So when the lady said that she'll come back, she came back and the guy was gone. His violin was there. His, um, he was eating some peanuts. It was there on the counter. But he was gone. So they went downstairs because Ursula, not Ursula, Alma said, oh, he went downstairs for a smoke. They go downstairs and they see him dead with his neck cut, you know, bitten open. So she got rid of him. Now at the university, oh God, at the university, there's a um, seminar going on. And so this guy, he introduces Ursula. Ursula turns around and introduces the pill to a class of writing students. Students, And after that happens, all hell broke loose. All chaos broke loose as the pills are distributed to the masses. It's turning people into pale people. Um, and it's just a lot of destruction going on. And the chemist is sitting in her car, honey, with the baby, looking at everything go down. You know, and then she drives off. She said something to the baby, I forget. And then she drives off. Now, that's the, the finale for Red, um, Red Tide. I looked around on the internet. A lot of people are not happy about this episode. I am one of them because I felt like it was rushed. They could have did so much more with this episode. And I'm like, okay. He, you know, Ryan Murphy was doing good. He was doing so freaking well until the last episode. Every time he does American Horror Stories, he always dropped the ball halfway through or I always give him three to four episodes to see if I like it, you know, if I want to continue. This kept my attention up until the, until the number six, which is the last, um, the finale for Red, Red Tide. My favorite episode from Red Tide is, is episode five. That was my favorite episode of all. Episode six, it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot better. The storyline could have went a different way. Alma, Ursula, and Harry could have been killed. It could have went a whole different way. Okay, so now... Episode 7, which starts Death Valley, is going to be called Take Me to Your Leader. And that's going to be, that's going to come on September 29th. I thought they was going to take a break and then they're going to, after the break, they'll start Death Valley. But no, they are working right through it. So next week we will have an episode 7, Take Me to Your Leader. How did you feel about this episode? Please be honest, because the number 6 episode really did not do nothing for me. I was disappointed. I was disappointed. And Ursula giving out these pills is causing so much destruction that they're not going to be able to maintain the people that she's giving it to because it's only it's creating so much chaos. She is giving out these pills like it's like it's like it's sugar. Okay? Like it's a now later. Just giving it out to everybody. But I wonder what the chemists have up her sleeve and i wonder if the chemist is going to run off with the baby and leave them behind or she's going to go pick up ursula and alma 
That's what I want to know. Because the way she said it, she only had the baby in the car with her. So is it just those two that's going to be like moving somewhere else? Or Ursula and Alma coming along? That's what I want to know. But anyway, it, was, it wasn't terrible, but he could have done a lot better. So because I'm nosy, I will check out part two, which is Death Valley. If I don't like it, if I don't like it, I will not do a review on it. I will tell you I don't like it. I will do a review, but I won't do a recap. And then that'll be it for me with this American Horror Story. If I like it, then I will do a recap and review and keep reviewing it every week. Or what I might do is just watch Death Valley and just give you a total <sighs> review of part two of Death Valley instead of doing it week by week. So I'm not sure yet. I got to see what this episode seven looks like and how it moves me. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section if you like episode six. How did you feel about it? Okay. All right. So I got to go, but I will talk to you guys later.